If you're new, thank you so much for coming over and joining our little family and please click the subscribe button so that you can uh, really be with us. Also, it really supports my content, it supports this channel, it's so that we keep moving, yes? And um, for all of you guys who have been here already, thank you so much for always coming back. Um, if you'd like to know every single time I have a new video, click the notification bell. Also, I should tell you that subscription is free and you won't receive emails or whatever, whatever you're scared of. <laughs> It's not going to happen. You literally just click subscribe and the channel grows and we continue to create and enjoy this space. Um, so first of all, before I get into the subject of this video, I just want to say that I hope that wherever you are, you're safe and um, you're doing your best to keep yourself and the people around you safe as well. Um, it's tough times. We're going through a massive wave in Uganda and you know the deaths the people who are struggling to keep their businesses together, to keep their families um, provided for, to take care of people in hospital, it's, it's, I mean, it's awful, it's awful what's happening and I pray that if you're in a position to help someone that you will, you will do so because we really are in this thing together. Okay, so on that note, we can get into this video also. I have to apologize for the noise because I have construction going on literally right outside my window. So when it gets too loud, I'll probably stop and then start again when it's calmed down a little bit. So, the title has said it. I got hacked. Um, honestly, I'm still... Like, I'm still... <laughs> Ah, okay, I got hacked. My Instagram account that I have built for over five years now um, got hacked. I don't, I think that, um, I can't even tell you what hurts most. It's just the building of something and then someone steals it in. But like that, that's how quickly it happened, like that. Anyway, um, so today is, today's the 22nd, I think. Just wait a second. Yeah. So this whole thing started on Friday, which was the 18th. I actually have my notes here just so I can remember some of those little things. So it happened on the 18th. Um, it was around 8.30 p.m. Um, you know, I was out here, da, 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 Instagramming, so on and so forth. And then um, I received a DM from a page that I was very familiar with, that I had interacted with before, that was verified, that is in a group of companies um, where, like, I work in one of those companies, like, I work with one of those companies, like, it was, do you know what I mean, like, a page that I knew, and then I received a, a message from them, I wish I had a screenshot, but, you know, um, and it said that I had infringed some sort of copyright, so of course I was concerned, I was like, oh, and it just really looked so legit, and there was, like, a link, like, you know, if you want to appeal this, please click here, and that is how it happened, that's literally how I got hacked, literally, like, 10 minutes later, it may not have even been 10 minutes, I receive a WhatsApp message, yeah? Uh, I didn't know this then, but, uh, but I, now I know that um, the number that was WhatsApping me is, like the code is for the Netherlands. So this person sends me a screenshot, and I'm going to insert most of this stuff here as I'm talking, um, sends me a screenshot of my page, but in Turkish. So this person says to me, um, that, oh, um, the people, something like the people who stole your account would like to know whether you want it back. So, of course, alarms are going off in my head. I'm like, excuse me, what? So I'm, at, in that moment, I received that Instagram email of, you know, your account has been logged into, and from somewhere in Kampala, Uganda, you know, it should. Somewhere from where, on this phone, secure your account. I click on secure my, your account. And then I keep, I don't know how to explain this properly. So, you know, secure your account, then they take you to, oh, a code to your phone, a code to this, da, 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 da. But every time I would get there, it would like, when I'm just about to get in, there's an error. So what I imagine is that we were, these things were happening at the same time and they were a step ahead of me. So it didn't matter what, 
you try to reset this, try to reset that, but they keep doing whatever they were doing a lot faster than I was. I remember just pacing around this house in a panic that I cannot explain to you. I was losing my mind. And I'm just, also I just, this is random, but didn't just apologize for my nails. They look really bad. Lockdown, guys. Anyway, but back to the story. So yeah, I'm just there. This, that, I'm trying this and that, and nothing is working. And then what happens, at some point, they unlink my Instagram account from my email. So then I'm completely shut out. Guys, so I'm calling my friend, asking what do I do, um, you know, all of that. And then I realize that I have to keep this hacker on my phone going. One of the amazing things is that this person that was sending me the WhatsApps says to me that he is an intermediary that is trying to get me my account back. Would you believe that? I just want to tell you guys that um, audacity is at an all-time high, okay? It's at an all-time high. We need to be careful. So then he tells me the thieves have said they want 250 US dollars. And I'm, you know, oh, I don't have 250 US dollars, what? It's like maybe, like I have just a hundred, let me see what I can do. Because at that point, you know, I knew that I have to keep them talking because the fear is that they'll just delete your account. So I'm there, I'm begging, I'm, you know, and then this person is like, then I tell them, oh, you know, I have a hundred, what? And then this person says that, um, Ah, they have refused a hundred, it's too little, what? Then they tell me, and you know, in retrospect, I'm glad that they said it was too little because the way I was desperate in that moment, I may have actually sent it. I'm just telling you the facts. When you're desperate, there's a way you can make bad decisions. I really might have sent it, and, and I know that even if I had sent it, they wouldn't have given me my account back. They wouldn't, they would have just kept going and going and going. And so then they say, then he's like, okay, let me talk to them and negotiate and see what we can do. Then he comes back to me a little while later and says, oh, if you can just send nude videos or photos, then they can give you back your account. I want to understand, I want to understand this audacity that people have these days to ask me for nudes. I, don't, I actually don't know. I don't know what's happening to this world that we are living in. Like this is this is the nasty side of the internet, the nasty nasty side of the internet. Sorry, this top is doing some things that I'm not understanding. Okay, so I just I'm like no, of course. I tell him no. I'm a Christian woman. I will not send you nudes. And then and then you're trying to say it, but without being like you're trying not to be too assertive. Because again, you're like, man, I don't want to annoy the hackers. They know what. An emotional roller coaster. Meanwhile, I'm, I'm here, but I'm crying. <laughs> like, the three people I talked to that evening, friend, I was crying. You know, trying to figure out what to do. So, as I'm doing that, I'm talking to my friend, trying to figure out what do we do. And then um, my boyfriend reached out to his friend who was. Um, who said, oh, check out this video because there, there are a number of videos on YouTube of, you know, like people who had their accounts hacked and they got them back and, you know, one of the things that came up was like, you have to like send multiple emails to Facebook. Facebook and Instagram is the same thing. So you have to send them multiple emails, you know, like, like spam them. So I set like alarms every like 30 minutes. I was sending an email, sending, you know, just explaining everything from beginning to end with screenshots and everything. So it is 2.35 a.m. Clearly, I did not go to bed. I just, I kept feeling like there was something more I could do, something more I could do. So, I did a couple of more things. Then I found this video on YouTube that said, um, you need to send like lots of emails to Facebook because, you know, it's Facebook. They probably receive a lot of emails, a lot of emails like this as well. So, um, what I've basically done is set up just like a bunch of drafts and put on a bunch of alarms on my phone. So I'll keep waking up to send them at intervals. Um, also, it occurred to me that it's the weekend, so that's, you know, it's not really working in my favor. But um, I don't even know how I'm still awake. Oh, this thing. Stress can make you, you know, but... Um, 
<laughs> I really hope this time never ever happens to any to any of you. Like this is this is an actual nightmare. And I want to tell you guys that Facebook doesn't care about you. Like I'm sorry, I know that there are other people that have retrieved their accounts, whatever. Maybe they just don't care about people in this part of the world. I don't know. I don't know exactly. But me as me, my experience, Facebook doesn't give to <laughs> I don't want to swear in this video, but no, they do not care. I have sent between then and now, I've sent I don't know, easily over 30 emails documenting each and everything with evidence. And you know what I've gotten since then? First they told me the account has been deleted. Which I saw in another video, like, oh, they'll first tell you it's been deleted. But what they did, the hackers changed the, uh, the, the username, right? And also changed my email, and just like all my details, everything. So the account is still there. So then I sent them an email I'm trying to explain that, no, the account is still there, but it's under this handle and this is how it looks. And they, one of my friends had searched me and actually found the profile, but under that different name. And I send them these screenshots. I'm sending every single thing. Facebook does not care about you. I want you to know that. Know it. So then, um, so now, I don't know what time it was by then. But all this was happening in the night. But it started in the evening. And then uh, I told my friend Prim. And then Prim says, oh, my other friend got hacked. She can help. So then this friend says she, know, uh, her, she got her account back. Um, by hiring, I guess I guess we can also call him a hacker, um, who I guess does that sort of thing of like, oh, you've been hacked, helps get your account back, that type of thing. So, but by the time I contacted him, these guys had, let's just say like they had buried my account under like a mountain of things. Do you know what I mean? It was like, you could search my, you could search, because now they had named it Appeal from Support. You could such appeal from support and then find it and then literally like two seconds later it has changed over instagram user and then like just you know like ah, guys so he could not because he asked me for a link but i couldn't get to the account and like i couldn't even the people was asking like search this do you find this but then they would go there and they're like oh no now i saw it then it's gone then it, do you know everything was just happening so quickly and then they just like hid all the posts so I couldn't get a link to any of the posts and then even getting a link to the page was a problem because you would literally see this second and then it's gone and then there was no way to get a link because what he said is that he needed a link to start the process eh? like I guess a place to start from and then like track it to the actual source so I didn't have that and I remember feeling so bad and prepared like an angie if I had known earlier because earlier the posts were still showing someone else could have gotten me like those links but I didn't know and I beat myself up so much I'm like Manange, if I had known Kali now check this account would have been retrieved because be this other person um, the friend that had been hacked before Apparently he got her account back in like an hour or less or something like that. And I'm like, Panagi, imagine now to have only taken up. I regretted. But then it's like later that I was like, I can't beat myself up like that because how could I have known? How? How was I going to know these things? So anyway, so that that failed. I'm still talking to the, the WhatsApp person, intermediary friend. And then intermediary, I'm going to call him intermediary friend. So intermediary friend says that, um, oh, let me go back and talk to these guys and negotiate, whatever. And I'm like, okay. And then you, of course, I kept sending those messages. Oh, please help me. Please help me. Now, this was at, so at 1 a.m. Because, you know, it began on the 18th. So at 1 a.m. on the 19th, they stopped responding to my WhatsApps. Like, completely stopped. So I'm worried. I'm like, what does this mean? And I'm spamming Facebook, and I'm spamming Facebook, and I'm sending email. Friend, I, I did not sleep that night. I was sending emails and just being stressed, generally. I, just, I, cry, ah, I cried. I cried buckets. There was a lot of crying done. Anyway, so... That happened. And then um, the next day, let's see. Let me just check. We kept sending the emails. Then... At 9.54 on the 19th, so that was from, from 1 a.m. to 9.54, nothing from these people. And during that time, um, one of my 
friend, was it my sister at that point or I can't remember who sent me a screenshot because um, they had just like gone to their DMs and found our DMs and then gone to the page that was there and it just said Instagram user and it was completely blank no posts no nothing no nothing just a blank page and I was like yeah they deleted because again and they weren't sending me any messages I was like yeah what happened was I didn't give them money didn't give them nudes so they've deleted everything and they've moved on and I cried cried a lot so um it seems that the account is gone um i don't know i don't know how to i won't even show sure to explain how i feel because it's five years of work just down the drain and um i guess i feel cheated i feel stupid I keep going back and I'm like, oh, I wish I had done this. I wish I had done that. But, you know, I didn't know. Yeah, I can't believe you can just have all your work and then it's just gone. I mean, I know, like, they'll eventually... I have to buckle down and figure out what to do. It's just really difficult because it worked so hard. I worked so hard. The building data now it's just, you know, someone just clicked a button somewhere and it's all gone. And it's, I don't like, it's my life's work. And, my passion it's it's my livelihood it's everything <laughs> and then i was i said thinking okay how am i gonna start over and then like it's all still new and raw so it's, it's difficult for me to talk about without just wanting to fall apart but yeah, I was like, okay, the account is gone. We are now moving. We are now moving forward. And then, um, yeah, so at 9.54, the hackers start WhatsApping me again. So intermediary friend says to me, oh, you know, I've paid the 250 US dollars for you and now you can get your account back. So I'm like, can you send me evidence of the account still being in existence? They said, send me a screenshot. It's still, you know appeals from support i'm like okay what how does how does this work so intermediary friend tells me that i sh that um i should send them a photo of me holding a white card with the with the handle appeal from support and a five digit code that instagram had sent to them because Apparently, after paying the $250, an intermediary friend now had the account that um, the hackers had, you know, violated some Instagram policy. Um, and so, sorry about this noise. And so, Instagram had blocked them out and they needed to verify identity. So, they're asking me to verify the identity. like these people must think we're stupid or you know maybe it's not even thinking we're stupid but they know that um sorry they know that when you're desperate you can do anything like you can do you can make such mistakes you can you can do anything and honestly if i hadn't already watched a video now you remember when i told you my boyfriend's friend sent those some youtube video and i'd seen in that video that um fa well for the people facebook cares about apparently they send you an email to verify your identity and that's what they tell you to do they take a picture holding up um, a white paper with um the what is it called the username and the five digit code and all so i'm just sitting there like okay at least they're locked out of the account at least so I just tell them, oh, maybe I'll send the photo tomorrow, whatever. 
and then that's where it ended guys i kept on sending instagram slash facebook messages um loads and loads and loads and loads of messages um sorry messages i mean emails and then the only responses i've gotten and i get one response a day strictly so in that one response a day they send me an automated response they do not I wish you could see how detailed my emails are. It's step by step everything with attachments. Like literally, I say this happened, see attachment one. This happened, see attachment two, three, four, five, six. They don't read them. They did not read them. I think they literally just see hacked and then send you an auto message. And um, what happened was when these guys unlinked my email from my account, they created a dummy account called fionakemi.ug and attached that to my email. So what Facebook slash Instagram keeps sending me is an automated response saying, oh, you can get back into fionakemi.ug with this link. And I deleted, meanwhile, fionakemi.ug. And in my emails, I kept telling them, I did not create this account. It was linked to my email, and I have deleted it. You guys, I need you to know that Instagram slash Facebook does not care about you. You need to know that. Yeah, we're here using their apps. They're making lots of money, whatever. But... I don't, I don't know how they select who they care about and who they don't, but no, they do not care about you. You need to protect your account. I literally need you to like pause this video right now and go and do uh, and activate the two-step authentication on every single account you have. Your Facebook, your Instagram, your Gmail, your LinkedIn, your, every, your banking account, your, whatever account you have, whatever you are signed into in this world, go and activate the two-step authentication. I am begging you. Whether you are private or, or public, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Hackers will come. Because you see, even if you have a private account, you have private information there. So, I mean, that's me. Account is wherever. Um, I still send a couple of emails because, you know, what can you do to the Facebooks who do not care, by the way? Um, so I just keep doing that and getting automated responses and I decided to just start over on Fiona Kemi underscore like even that underscore pains me because my thing was just Fiona Kemi it pains me it pains me I have had such an outpouring of support from you guys Yanni I don't even know how to say thank you guys have come through like everybody just in my DMs sending me such encouraging messages sharing my posters to let people know that I was hacked and that this is where they can find me now I am so grateful losing my account is so difficult I didn't want to cry in this video because I've just done too much crying for these people um losing that work was very painful for me like sometimes i'll just be having you know just doing normal things and then i'll stop and remember it and i just break down like i break down because like i know what i put into building that account and it just it you guys it's a lot it's a lot and i don't <laughs> Like, it's like in the back of my mind, I know that one day it will just be okay. But just like right now, whew, it's hard. It's hard, but your support honestly has. It means a lot to me. Like every day, every message. I mean, what um, yesterday was Monday when I started um, putting out this message that was hacked and this is where I am. I, the page had like 90 followers and the, and even those 90 were people who had literally just searched me and found me before I announced and now I don't even know I think I must be at like maybe 1600 I'm so appreciative of how kind and supportive you guys have been it's um I couldn't possibly deserve it but man God stays God you know what I mean God stays God and he stays Godding <laughs> so thank you didn't want to cry <laughs> but thank you so much thank you for believing in what I do like that thank you for you know sharing it with your friends your families your everybody there's so many new followers who didn't even know you know about my page but they were like no I saw this and I was like no I have to follow this person 
disappoint them and I'm so grateful. This is, yeah, I was not but I'm I'm just so grateful guys. I like there's no there's no um I'm going to leave the link for my new Instagram page where we are starting over. But and I know you guys are not going to come in the comments and telling me over I cry well. You guys <laughs> not with these bad nails. I imagine there are plenty of hackers out there taking you know using this time you know to take advantage of us because i don't know maybe we are online a lot so they're like ha huh, now they just find a business to hack and they'll be so desperate because you know that's the only way to work online so i need you guys to just be careful i look forward to like next year when i'm giving a testimony about you know how i rose from this do you know what do you know one thing i forgot to tell you i forgot to tell you like june has been so difficult for me I, uh, and it's my birthday month, which makes it even more annoying. I turned 31 this year, which is amazing, um, on the 4th of June. Um, and the one amazing thing that happened is that my nephew, mm, he's so precious, my nephew was born on my birthday, so my birthday made twinsies. So, yeah, that was amazing. And then literally two days later, I tested positive for COVID. And so me, I've been in isolation. I've been in my own lockdown from the 6th until now <laughs> it's almost a month until now um then like has it been a week yet a couple of days ago my phone fell and shattered so there's that and then <laughs> and then i got hacked i want to i want to know i don't know i want to know what is happening this truth <laughs> i'm always says to us um, in good times we thank God in bad times we thank God so I'm grateful I'm grateful to be alive to I took my test today and I'm hoping it comes out negative um, oh do you know we should take check my email and see if it has come yet possibly along with Facebook's be messages there be automated messages okay so it hasn't come through yet Anyway, we wait. Oh, maybe I'll do a clip where, um, which I'll just add to the end of this video so you guys know if I tested negative, that'll be nice. You can celebrate that, right? In the comment section. So I just got the email um, for my results. And I remember I said I'm going to open it here. So, wait, I just saw it. Okay, there it is. negative <laughs> I don't know if this is going to show properly but ah there you go it says negative right there <sighs> finally something right in this this weird month I'm having I praise God praise God I hope I hope someone out there is also recovering and getting this message I'm so grateful <sighs> thank you so much for watching um, again subscribe and I will see you in the next video.